Mr. Hernandez reports to us that uh, we have a lot of pork and beans. <coughs> and uh, if we get tired of pork and beans, we have a lot of soup. And he says that uh, generally we don't have much of anything else. And that was the extent of his report. Uh, as you know, uh, we're always trying to uh, get those uh, throughout the state to help us with food, so uh, we'll continue to do so. And uh, we'll have to... Uh, those of you who have friends outside the area and you're writing to, always mention food. Uh, you can say this, uh, clothing no, food see. Caesar, why is the labor movement interested in organizing the agriculture workers here? Well, uh, we see that uh, any kind of legislation is needed is uh, never uh, uh, given to the people unless they themselves become, become involved in the uh, uh, extract that legislation. Uh, we have a problem, I think, similar to the uh, uh, people had in the uh, civil rights movement uh, or the American Negro had for many years. They always gave them token legislation. It wasn't until they really started uh, going out and uh, organizing and uh, creating the movement in the South that they, uh, the government came across with meaningful legislation. Similarly here, we're not going to get any legislation until the government sees for themselves that the people are really involved and that they, uh, let's say, are willing to uh, agitate for it and uh, make demands. And we are going to make those demands. The immediate aim of a strike seems to be wages and work and conditions. Is the real target, though, federal legislation? Hmm. Well, you see, uh, we don't have a right to petition the government to hold uh, an election to determine whether uh, uh, the workers ought to be represented by whatever union wants to or claims to represent them. Uh, coverage under the National Labor Relations Act is what's made most of the unions that we know them today in America. We are not covered by this law. So it's pretty much the uh, jaws, uh, uh, the laws of jungle out in the fields at this point. Where you got? Where you got? Strike, 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 Where you got? All of the uh, got? farm workers on strike here in Delano are appalled at the shooting of Marcelino Barajas and Paul Salgado. Uh, we've known now for over 10 years that the strike breakers and growers are armed. We communicated this to Sheriff widely. There's been now, this is the eighth incidence, uh, incident uh, where we've had shootings at us. Uh, last week, uh, five days ago, another striker was uh, wounded when uh, uh, a strike breaker or a grower, we don't know who, from inside the fields, uh, fired into the rear window of the car and injured him in the back. We charge that the arming of the strike breakers and growers is with the consent, with the knowledge, and with the encouragement of Sheriff Widely. They have known that uh, the men are armed inside the fields, and yet they have done absolutely nothing to try to take the uh, arms and the rifles away from them. We had a number of men jailed and beaten and we cannot get the sheriff to tell us their whereabouts or their names. We estimate about 20 people were arrested at the Masekin Ranch a while ago when these men were beaten and uh, they will not tell us the whereabouts of the uh, people who are beaten uh, or uh, how seriously they are, or how many people were taken to jail, or in which, uh, in which jail they are. We want the Sheriff's Department investigated. 
We want to know why uh, the sheriff, he refuses to go into the fields and take the arms away from those men. Uh, we also want to know why the sheriff is making a special point uh, of uh, disgrace and beatings on our picket lines. Uh, Brother Juan Cervantes, uh, Cervantes, a 19-year-old picket captain, was threatened, uh, was told by one of the, uh, uh, one of the uh, sheriff's deputies in that uh, goon squad, was told that, uh, we're going to kill you, you son of a bitch. We know where you live, and we got your license plates. Uh, and several of the picket captains have uh, received that kind of treatment from this uh, outlaw cops. And we want that stopped, and it's got to be stopped immediately. Uh, you've made accusations about the sheriff's department uh, defaming your people and uh, Call, calling us uh, greasers, uh, dirty Mexican greasers, uh, calling us uh, uh, spicks, and uh, it's really uncalled for. Uh, I wonder whether these men are... Uh, we want to know whether these men are on the payroll of the county or are being financed through Sheriff Widely or uh, through the uh, uh, growers' funds. We want to know if the growers are financing that kind of operation. Mr. Chavez, these are serious allegations you're making against the Sheriff's Department, and, and quite frankly, they're just hard to believe. Do you expect the American public to actually believe the accusations that you're making here, sir? Sir? You're not a newsman. You're not a newsman. If I asked you... I told you. I challenged you. I told you! If you gave me the names... We're negotiating in good faith. Don't put that in my face. Go ahead. Don't put that in my face! Go. I'm upset at you. Why? I just asked you a question, sir. I expect more professionalism from reporters. Sir, I just asked you a question. Sir. Sir. I need... I expect more professionalism from reporters. The rest of us would like to ask some questions. Well, go ahead. He's talking to me. Okay, then be quiet. We want legislation that will truly be helpful to us. And uh, no, we, uh, we're not going to give up uh, our, our right to strike or boycott. Never. We can't. We can't.